So we've got it set up. So um, thank him again for participating in this project. And uh, we will be asking him questions about his experiences during the war. So we want to keep it really focused just on his personal experiences. Um, we know I can, if I want to know about the history, I can, I can reference that elsewhere. But um, the first question I would like to ask him is where he was in June 1941 when the Germans invaded the Soviet Union. Where was he? How old was he? What was he doing? Uh, Change <laughs> Tramedi <laughs> But <laughs> <laughs> Um, break of the war, it was absolutely an unexpected thing that, that was absolutely devastating for everybody from just starting from elder and to kids there. Um, and however, it, it, was, it was absolutely shocking for everybody. However, we had some information, uh, some facts had been known before that, that something wrong was going on. He says, I had some information from my own brother. Kishangaraka <laughs> Bolozet <laughs> Truly enthusiastic. All the guardians of the guardians say, he said, he's sex in a Bible. He said, he enthusiasmed of mutual abilities. Arab is Karnakia, Escot, Tito, Shantagan, Shira, Ganidamoki, the Volvaro. I will alone ask you those tests. He says that when the war broke up, his uh, elder, oldest brother, actually was uh, was about to finish his mandatory military service and he was on the border and he was killed in the very first month. Then uh, within a couple months uh, other two brothers were taken to the front and they were killed. Uh, when the war broke up he had just graduated here and his uh, friend had just graduated school and they, they were 18 of them and they all just decided all together to go to that wherever the place was from where these people were taken to army 
and they decided to join the army, so they decided to volunteer. Um, they sa he says it was, we were absolutely enthusiastic about that, no one had ever advised us to do something about this, just to go to a war or something, it was our own decision. We had um, kind of uh, an automatic reaction of self-defense and defending our country and people. Therefore, I don't know. It was an honorable duty to fill in the army. But it should also be said that the army is not a good thing. They appeared there on the very second day when the war broke out in June. Okay. The army is not a good thing. ისედაც <laughs> National Rudana of Pibishek by Ochap Kribul Magra Meris, Argamo, the Emperor, Terminology, Sampa de Vardis, Tunisa, Zalian Arthur, and the Chorus, Sampa de Vardis. And those, I mean, military commanders, they advised the Russian army and his friends that they were told, you know what, that there will be time for you to join the army, and that's going to be very soon. So just get back home and just take some time that you have now. You will call you very soon. They were sent, but however, but that was pretty true because in September uh, there was an order, so they had to join the army. And he says that there was a decision to build up um, a division with 5,000 soldiers, and they had went on the duty to protect Moscow. From the beginning, he says that from the beginning they were thinking to build up some divisions based on nationality. However, there was at some point against this military uh, moral there and order, so that, that that idea actually failed. So they started to build up like a general division with everyone all together there. Yeah. I was I would like actually to ask a question about um, the sense of patriotism. Was it when when they in June 1941 when the war, war broke out? Would you say people in Georgia felt uh, the Soviet Union? Was in danger or just Georgia? Was a. Uh... Hi. Uh, it's not a question for Dan David. I just added a stand I'm a little bit of a short time interest. But this is a topic I'm not sure. Casa Gabero, all our grand guru, all the session of the Gauts of Bully. The subtle section of a zipper. I just say, Cartola is Shak number of Gori, or Cartola, if you crop there, so glad subject of Gauchi, the subtle. მე <laughs> I mean, months, I mean, I mean, I we were thinking about that was that 
the Soviet Union is one united country and everyone is equal there, every nationality, every people, every country there. So we have to protect it. We had this feeling because he says, because we, uh, or every people, everyone who was living within the borders of the Soviet Union, they were treated equally. Um, th this is what we were taught at school, what we actually failed on, our, failed on ourselves, that we all were equal. Uh, Russians, Georgian, whatever, whoever lived within the Soviet Union. Um, and this also comes from my father, he says, who was a veteran of the Second, First World War. Um, and in 1930s, um, there were extreme uh, hot weathers in Russia, and they had no harvest at all for two years, so people st were starving. And many people crossed the border and fled to Georgia, as far as they were saying. We, we had no food for ourselves, he says. Our supplies were very, very, very limited, and he decided to give a shot to our these um, people who fled to Georgia. And when we were having di dinner, he would give food, first of all, to these people, and then to us. And he, my father always used to say, um, you, you, ha guys, you people have to love each other, because um, these Russians, they are great people, they are hard-working people, they are kind enough, and you all have to respect and love each other. And the area where I lived, he says, it was absolutely multinational, about 3,000 Jews and Greeks and uh, Armenians and others there. So we, we were, um, these uh, different nationalities would live together and were like brothers to each other. So that was like common sense of one in unified country. Yeah. Okay. I said, we were going to go by all the tellings for you to prompt there. Moscow-Sherevice-Sherevice-Sherevice-Sherevice-Sherevice-Sherevice-Sherevice-Sherevice-Sherevice-Sherevice-Sherevice-Sherevice-Sherevice-Sherevice-Sherevice-Sherevice
and everyone, what, what he wants to point out is that everyone was doing whatever they could, including elder people and including kids. Okay, this is in the autumn of 1941, November, December 1941. In autumn 1941. Yeah. Well, as in the middle of October, Moscow is at this. Well, this is a very good time. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm the hardest time was in October when Germans threw their um, military divisions to the south. south. This is uh, because uh, they, 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 they tried to just take all these highways because these were the roads for which these um, supplies would go. So they were trying to control these highways there. There were two very important places he had to get involved in the battle. What's that? Narofomiski and Mojaiski. Mojaiski and Narofomiski. These were the places. And what was his duty? What was he? Was he infantry? Was he infantryman, artillery? What was he trained in? Well, as I have been speaking over some hours, slowly, slowly, automatically, very slowly, 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 Weapon that existed, uh, including this automatic, sorry, from automatic guns to this. I don't know what name for it is. Sorry. Italian bombardera, that I should know. Machine sap could rust a little bit. Didn't know that such a was possible. That was an excellent shooting, he said. Sap could rust a little bit. Didn't know that such a was possible. That was an excellent shooting, he said. I would be desirous men I go house. I sick the city of Homidekit. Well, as weather at Trentagas Rock, our German by Chenin. October is twisty, well, as even to Eco. Moscow is this. Da Zalian Damsin Dan Gomorrah, Mosakrovan, Timidgan Stadler, the Sanskari for Tower of Bagadio da Moscovida. Well, I'm Utsvat Daigera. Rom Salglobats, Tower of Bastan, it has Gavidoda. Mesa Medres, I'm Gansko with a Gamu with the Zanaba, Moscow with us, Scarlet Zoris of Rossisa. Runa Tasro, Moscow with the Stro, Tadas Romita de Moscovsi. But then I thought the hobby was. I'm not sure what to do. I'm not sure what to do. I'm not sure what to do. I'm not sure what to well, he says, what, what helped me a lot um, during these military exercises in training was that we had military classes at school. So that they, uh, before they, they were sent to an army, they had a lot of information about this military stuff there. And the hardest time in October was um, not because of these battles. Uh, what generally, we had one common feeling. We believed in the power. Uh, we were facing the death every single moment, just but still we were pretty sure that we would be the winners in this war. So Soviet power would win anyway. And when people had this confidence, suddenly there was an announcement that the government was going to flee away and leave the city. So that, that was absolutely devastating for people because they were thinking that the military commanders would leave also. So that, that meant that the city would be just simply given away. And they had to be on this Ambitious situation for about three days, uh, but then another announcement was made that there was a new order from the head commander 
to continue protect, protect, protecting the city. So that it, it felt like we were um, reborn with us and we were absolutely excited and just the, the confidence was back to everybody, starting from military to civilians. There was an ultimate faith uh, among each other. A soldier believed in another soldier who was fighting on his side. A uh, whole uh, division would had an ultimate faith in their commander, and commanders had a faith in their leader. And the head commander. So this is all about the face and trusting each other and trusting in power. Zalian did the sick war with the body with some of the point is. Me art certain shit who are maxos, Merista Livratan with Arthur Sertino Caucasiaro, Erti Dutch really makes only me get over views. Tundats that's what's called Piazim of the Rogatin's words. Erti Jaris got his daughter over that rails, art of pleasure. Well, Annie. There was a huge respect and love to each other. We would never ever leave a wounded soldier on the field, even if we were sure that would just picking him up would be life threatening. We would go and just release him from that battle. I feel this division, Shuazia, Shimza, Deputa, Bashinda, Shemu, the Yanus Bolus. There was part of the division, it's from Middle East. It was picked up and prepared there in the Middle East, this division, and they were the helping power which arrived in the city in January in 1945. Moscow is born in the USA, so she's welcome from the Zasset, even go over by Umagra Big Minds. Tolly, Inva, Damianavis, Heulit, Ethnica, Twitprinavit, Anki, Dalitil, Palape, Saklevi, Adamianavis, Henev, Palape, Tatiquareu, Estrolape, Tolson, Amis, Dana, Hotagata, and Zalis, and Elia Magra, Adamian Indros, Lupruk, Ertleba, Uprozir Deva, Romamas, Head of Chartulia, Ukan Daheva, the Laparagi, Zedmetiada. That was the hardest um, winter. Um, on top of battles around the city, and everything was like smashed all together people, horses, military technique, uh, ruined buildings, and snow. Everything was around, like all mixed up together. It was extremely hard to see all these, but we were like. Everyone was extremely involved, and we were sure that we, we had no choice. We had to just move forward, and there was no chance to step back for everybody. Armiashi Rams sat a video of the political with Sadrobe with a Saubrebi. Talian did he made him over some Tliana to tell Armias, tell Kremlin's master to the Cargetro, Labaragi Mindina was a Muka Shireta. Sayrtozalibis. <laughs> <laughs> Twali trasas preda bit chone kha me irab mas nula min nulsin sro germanelebi tet khelebit modioden enit ka ugenarsin khetses chadioden tsots khlat ramenis gunakhas bavshebi didebi kalebi akhalgazebi khishtebi ta ugiat es tvolsin esi es shoporoba srdira chven shiro dazog ar sheizleba ar uzoga ar chonar unda dazogot well, all these uh, talks about policy and diplomacy were only done during these nine hours among the soldiers. And when they uh, received the information that, um, for, as he said, Progressive West was going to join their own, the war, it, it was like it, um, 
increased uh, our belief and enthusiasm a lot, he says, because now we were absolutely sure that we would become the winners, as far as this progressive West was joining us with their own power. And what he wanted to say is just do not, I will not let anybody to explain to me what Germans were doing and what the, he said Germans were with white hands. What he means is that they were, he says, they were absolutely wild. They would kill everybody around, women, kids, and we had to see all this. And this, this was an additional motivation for us because we were thinking they do not show any mercy, so we, we will be, we will do the same. So we, we cannot step back, we cannot let this happen anymore. Professor Zirita Dishent, the United States, 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 it's already 40, uh, 1942. Yes. The first uh, divisions of German army were totally destroyed, and when soldiers of the Soviet army saw that they they were they they, they were just uh, releasing their territories and taking their territories back, and the first divisions were dist totally destroyed of this German army, they were pretty sure that the German army was losing their power. Was he seeing frontline service in this period? He was actually he was actually fighting. Yeah, he was on the first line. Was he? So. I've spent all all my time during the war on the front, being on the on the front line. Did you touch him? That group of his Canadian group of Mokta Martis, she April is to she moved to the south of the Sebi Moscow. Martis twist to Suga or Moscow operates the visit at the Danta that April is to she sound or the Sebi Kalax Moersna. Ah, I'm so okay. The um, majority, the main, main part of these um, German army was destroyed mainly in March, and in April, uh, I don't know, I'd say that there were some uh, surrounding rules when the city is surrounded, they had some, some surrounding or surrounding, surrounding rules, I don't know. Um, but these rules were just uh, withdrawn and uh, just, I know, I knew all door, I would say that. Almost the origin is was the exil is not if she don't shut up the neighbor or as was the exil. Romita Shetla, Catamore Battalion. Ima Vedres, what is she? I say, uh, almost those is in 1922. Uh, was that was the exil? In July 26, they created a special order, the local of Danibus, Order 227. There is a help the button load. It's the number of Nishagunazat, it's as a Danish Zagraditil Hadriato. This is the order we. I know whether it was a code or something, I'm not sure. Uh, not a single step back, only forward to attack. I'm dressed, Marlis in Taos had this planet with Moscow is that is not in the big eye or summit. On that very same day, uh, by the main commander of the Moscow Defense Divisions, these divisions were divided into three parts. Ertinatil Gags and his Leningrad is Mimar to Lebit, Mure Dasalit is Mimar to Lebit, second to the West, Mesame Stalingrad. Third one to Stalingrad. Which one was he in? Stalingrad's Mimar to Lebit, 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 Mimar to well, I'm going to go to the 
Ալ մողթես գերմեն լիպս գալմոսրոլ է, դա երդինավիսի սուկան դախեղ այդ, որ կատարելությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությու The main order they had on the Rivolga, they wanted to, they had to make sure that Germans would never cross the river and appear on the left bank of the river. Stalingradi, Ultulis Gomero Vashi, I'm telling you. What is your thought? Coming up to Kamna from the valley. Pardon? Uh, I know to Kamna from the valley got it. A Nag Ports Nelly. Ah, Nag Ports. And he was right now, time to double stuff. He thinks that he, his duties were changed during this, uh, while he was moving to Stalingrad. And then for, during two years, he served as, um, I don't know that word, of course, someone who throws these small bombs. A grenadier, did he throw in grenades or? Not grenades. Um, Նաղմդ գործինի կարտուլատ տարուսուրատ մինամի ատրայի սեղոր։ Նա գրնեից։ Ուկասոտայի մեր այլ 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 ա� Հաղթորդին սանգարիսի է, սամ ու է պրաստո է արուշի է, իյ էպեկտիվ նա է, ու էլ այս էպեկտիվ որի, սեգի, սամի նացիլի սակարշետ գիպասու, լուլա, սարդենի նացիլի դա, ու գլամեր կվադրատի, լեխու ուպրավլի այմ է արուշի, Стрелять. Да, это и там, да, было да, это. Ротные да, минометы, батальоны и полковые. Я бы на батальонный миномет бьет на расстоянии трех километров. Because uh, about 60% of the soldiers destroyed, where they were destroyed of this, from this weapon, whatever it is. Okay. Um, the abrasive bullet is the devil that Stalin got. So, this, how he, how she got hurt. Are you kidding about the archanta? We couldn't even see uh, in Stalingrad anything at each other. It was all in smog and dust around because yes. there were constant battles. Սատրգամիսը թատեսխում է ուղիկո ուղիկի սարսենտոր ուղիկի թմիտիը դա նատո պրոդուկտերի չրիլոյթի սակատ։ Ուղտղավտե դա ուղտղավտեն դղետաղամ է մագրավ, ուղտ ձալիանց լիրատիվ ձոտա չույնի ավիացիա։ Այդ բիր So Germans were trying to attack it constantly. However, he says there were some heroes in our aviation. They, they did something amazing during these battles. What did you do in Stalingrad? I was spent four months on Stalingrad. He spent four months in Stalingrad. I'm drunk. I'm not even sure if it's his tactic or not. Tell me, what is my role in the war? Is it that the Germans still go to Kazakhstan? Germans decided not to attack through uh, along the front, and they decided to move to the north of Caucasus. Yes. You had train not to leave the Moscow stack at Mogus for this Caucasus. That was. We were released from Stalingrad and sent to defend to protect the Caucasus. Caucasus. That is the only thing we want to do. Team tail parameters. The best plan is that that's the only thing we want to do. Well, I can't keep that. Well, I saw people start to talk about it. I was participating um, in this defense operation through Caucasus, like along three Caucasus from Baslan to Muramalipa, Baslan then? Rostovant. To Rostov. I, I literally walked every town and every village, he says. Really? And uh, was he fighting this on the front? Again, he was fighting on the front line. Mm -hmm. um, what were the conditions like? What was it? Uh, were they, at this point, were they, what was their morale like, and what, were they well supplied, were they? 
Um, do you mean militias? Yeah, the soldiers. Um, it turned out that the time Gaukas is so legislous, twenty moral day debut and twenty billet as the crop sent as of the Ramdet Argi, what could Momaraga go to Chai's cuts at this call, some Hadra Momaraga, and Gaukas is so legislous. Some Hadra Momaraga, Dalian's lady, or Swatish machine did it at Maribai or Piton America Lebiska. Me magalta chulo ka ko si ashme so Amerika u tar mo bis pechsat smeli, tansat smeli, konserve bi, sursati, English le bisat, magra English le bis pechsat smeli so da muhre ko yego muhre liye. Zali, es mora uli ne khada chalas dibi ko da zali ar rob chuan vicho de, rob daits le siran indan kadbo ko na sherwalete bis Amerika u tar mo bis khutas khutas si makana kadbo ko da tisman shi. We had really good supplies, by the way. We had really good supplies, and by the way, sent from the West, I was wearing my outfit, my shoes were made in the United States. And he also said there were some British shoes also, but they were extremely uncomfortable. They were kind of leaned inside, so he wouldn't use that. So he was wearing all American. Uh, and also, Americans have sent these 500 Chevrolets from Iran to them. Mm-hmm. When I was in the Sarno, I was in the Paco, I was in the Paco, I was in the Paco, I was in the Paco. What Germans were trying the most, they were trying to make their, they were, uh, their way to Baku right, to in order to get all supplies there. Larong almost to remark is that it's a shame of the wash how is good sana piroska. They couldn't do that and decided to attack. To upset me, Martulevit. Towards to upset, which is the Black Sea side. Trinatil Moixna, Shemu were at Caucasia, Sita, San Fratidan, to upset me, Martulevit, Kadabus Rolis. Our division was released. We had to uh, travel through Caucasus from the south. Uh, and um, just arrived to Tuapse, which is in Hanover, Kavasse. Kaviaret Tuapse, Nova Sisky, Rostov, Nova Sisky, and near Rostov. Rostov is beside Gomes, Beot Ket Davicheri, Metito, the original of Moscow Shimuta, Beor Stalingrassi, Ori, or Vasis, not to live it. The same Beot Ket Lugami. At Novorossiysk, it's kind of dangerous. In nearby Novorossiysk, that was my my fourth time being wounded. First, I was wounded in Stalingrad. Was it? We were in Moscow, dangerous. In Stalingrad, first he got wounded in Moscow, then in Stalingrad, and two other wounds were done in Caucasus. I have some questions, more subjective questions. What would, what is it like to be on the front line? What is going through your mind? Do you have time to really? Did he have time to really think about anything, or is it just automatic? What's going on? It's like Kind of get cut to a super old set shell. Is a ticket no baroy, how them pull on the umbrella she had shot today up to my drug movement. I forgot Jerry's cut. Right, right, said the media. It really Sammy would have reached Jerry's cut to set your observer child. She took Mrs. Sibley Agar Periagaras. Well, um, each is room she lived at three hundred of Scotland to Chavaripos. Magram. He says, uh, I learned first three days. Well, uh, yes, yes, yes. Then it goes automatically. You get involved. You, you, you know that every single moment can be the last in your life, but you still go on automatically. This is the psychology that gets created. And psyche. Come to the hospital. Come to Monsters Mori to be in Maridovisa. Or was that what she did? Or was that she? Is my other daughter also in the car? Or is that her? Yeah. He he when he was wounded for the first time, he was taken to the hospital, then released from the hospital, and he was like he became a disabled of the second category, so he was sent home in forty fourth. 
1944. 1944. So, okay, as he was sent home, and did, did he see any further action, or was that it? Was his war over? Uh, I know it comes from Damsel, it was from Mr. Yeah, that was the end when he went back. So he was in Georgia from 44 through 45. Yeah, he was in Georgia in such a It's in Emirati. In Emirati. Yeah. Okay. No, I will say that I will say or Sabatio Nishnis ordained was that Tandes Falaswa Medle Sabzo. He has re received uh, at least 30, this, what do you gotta call it? Medals. Medals. Is it medal in English also? Medal, yeah. Yeah. It's Simon Jordan. Sakshi Dabun Nemishin. First quality. She's living the Guarat, maybe Vashina, I have what says Samit, Yamazar, to Nova, to Yoga, Nemsega, or Uriga. You can't feel anything on the street. I'm going to take a movie of the physical from a shicha, and I'm watching the Samit's baby, if you have a sponsor. So the husband shall marry Damnishness, that's a bit of a pedagogue. Dimension <laughs> Well, when he when when he came back home, he started to get to normal life. Um, he said, "I, I was my family uh, was very poor. My my father needed support because all four brothers were sent to the war, and I had to do some physical work. Then he started to be a primary teacher. Then he started to study the." University, and he says that he did some jobs for the party. He, he had some really good positions, and he says that he spent about 70 years working on these different positions. Okay. Administrative, he basically did like his government administrative. Yeah. So, where was he when the war ended in May 1945? Or in Europe? Where was he? Um, he was in And how would he describe the reaction of people when the war ended? I could after Churchill's <laughs> Well, there were lots of emotions, of course, he says, uh, and he just wanted to express his gratitude to the leaders of the countries who participated in this war, um, of, of the partners to the leaders of part who were like part partner countries to Soviet Union. He says, you don't, no offense, but you had no better president than was all for it. Hey, <laughs> he just wants to honor him. But he says that the, he, Roosevelt, Churchill, Churchill also, but Roosevelt played the great part in winning this uh, war. <laughs> 
Mimotere with churches of the Stalin Shores. Eshon, Volena. I have a labor, my small library, he says, where he keeps some um, correspondence done among church and Stalin Hopkins. And he still just picks it up and just waits time to time. And he says it's a great, great pleasure for me. These people were giant in something extraordinary in that world. Yes. What did he think about Stalin? What did, what was, what, how would he describe the attitude? Okay. He said that the, he, his love towards Stalin, he will take this love to, to his grave. That's literally what he said. He was something unique and no one can tell me uh, that Stalin had some mistake. I know that, he says. Even Stalin uh, said that in his life. I did make some mistakes in, in, while governing the country, but he was a great, absolutely great person. So no, no one's going to change my attitude towards him, he says. Rafaela Moroburim Kharazajara, the Kutmete Taski of the Gadmots, or America, the Majaris Katman, tell you again, it's respirity. The European territories, the Taliban, the Majaris Katman. Americans. Stretcher Nail Beto was as a boy, Nikagda. I will never ever forget what they did. He said what Americans did. They had to swim on these military um, ships about 15,000 kilometers to the oceans just to support us on the territory of Europe and fight along our side. This is something I'll never ever forget and no one should ever forget that. <laughs> Rogamustin Zalev, Yehla, who is not part of the summer dance in Tavze, only with Saganemur, Kadai Sinjos, New Virgins for Sessis that can give the data, Kadai Sinjos, or Shedded. Omi rolls as Basta with Cher Arcanus, the Asobri, as Roman Shades, almost that in million in Vocalakis, it was where Machor's Nahavars and Meti Chueni was dash with a million. Samas almost that he had Tassik at the cartel diaguba. Procent to Shema the Gluch, or as with Danagargi work with the Palamoka Shiris Volgas. Am half his doubts never shades the bar. Echo memorial lepis a pet keva ik never. Gully met in a gushing in the Mel Saramo Filchi Rutsavit, her Latviashi. Romani has Pashi Saugis Memorial. Rosetti Jarabit and Asseoli Gaichera, never to two, never to Tarit, the Dashalis. Akron de Unami with this sack, man. What he regrets about is that now that there have some people appeared who were who like called to just have a just double check new bag trial decisions. I know twenty new think that the Second World War is commemorated in Georgia today. Does he think that veterans like himself get proper recognition? And whoever people like, um, I'm also from the Gosher with Tresa Katosh over them with the Bullet, but when he croaked from my quen by Eleanor, we sat on the top of the Bully Hart Trust for Anishi, as Jerry Hot Rains. It up in right was Arabia. Well, as it should go over over short, well, I was first have done what well, put with Mogashi Republica shorts. Well, I said, I will be seen. I'm going to be true. Well, as a show, that's what he knew. We are the among these fifteen participating countries. We are in the worst conditions. We have the lowest pension. We, we are actually the most insulted ones at the moment. In Georgia. Georgian veterans, he said. And uh, how does he view the war in the in the context of his whole life? Um, how formative was the war for him? How, how formative of an experience was the war? How important was it in the, in the context of his whole life? Um, 
Hutikasi that, that was the most important thing because the word taught made me to learn about myself and to see who I actually was and what I actually could do. I've got three university diplomas, but none of this university has universities has given to me that knowledge and intelligence what work has uh, given to me. Uh, he says I was an artillerist by the end of the war. And they had to dig this huge hole uh, in the ground. Uh, he says he just said some measurements. I think They had to dig a hill which was like five meters in diameter and two meters in depth, and they had to do that within an hour. He says that's in a normal life, but in a peacetime, that's simply impossible. I have to do that. The army has 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 to There is no better friendship in this life than the friendship which is made up in the army. There is life and death all together. Rogor Shemizia, he taught him to simply to love people, love people, everybody, like Americans, Asians, anybody. Yeah. Uh, yes. What did he think about the Germans? What was the attitude that he had and other people had towards the Germans during the war and now? Uh, the <laughs> Was <laughs> Well, he says he, he, he's got a great respect to German people. When war was on, they had an order from Stalin. Stalin said Hitler's to come and to go, but German people do remain. So uh, he says that I had to um, visit Germany twice uh, in his life after the war was over. And they are amazing people, hardworking, absolutely really kind. They have a great potential, and I do respect them really much. He says, "The British, when German come and get hurt, they should be under our rule." Ah, the Russians, the Ukrainians, the Ukrainians, the Kali, the Russians, the Ukrainians, the British, they should be under our rule. They should be under our rule. The wars we have started. He saw terrifying things done by the Germans when they were in the Uban region. 
um, he says one um, old lady approached us and told that um, there were 22 kids ill with tuberculosis, 22 kids buried alive, and that woman asked them to somehow help these kids, and they just dig them out, and only two were alive still. And he, after the war, he wanted to see these people, what they have turned themselves into, those who were doing such things, and what were they doing after. And he was simply shocked. They were that the Half worst thing about right. Germany and the uh, most devastating thing about Germany was his Hitler himself. He, he damaged the whole country, he ruined it. And we, us, like Soviet power, Americans and everyone who entered the country after the war, we, they, they simply uh, robbed the country and took away everything. That, that's what he, Hitler caused, he says. He was the Hitler was the major harm to German people and German country. He, he reduced the territories, he, well, actually he caused to re have these territories reduced or treasury taken away and yes. throughout the country. So that, that was his major... But the German people never tried to hide their um, past. All these like leather handbags made of this human skin and everything. He says they still kept it just to show it to people and just to express that, that you're not hiding their past. However, they want to stress that this was their past and they have now changed it. Yes. Okay, I think that's all the questions I have for him. So. Thank you very much again.